the first hearing aid launch of 2025, is that correct? It belongs to a company called Resound, and Resound just launched the new Vivia. And I know what you're thinking, what in the world could Vivia mean? <laughs> yeah, nobody knows. But if you're a Latin root follower oh, of different words, somebody knows. And you're wanting to go deep with this, I think Resound's sending us a message that they want us to live. Vivo. They want us to live. So Vivia, Vivia. Viva, Viva la hearing aid. Yes. Okay. So it's kind of an exciting thing. It's like life. Yeah. It's like, hey, you used to live like this but you don't know what living is totally like until you try the Vivia. So I like the name. Life Elevated? Life, ooh, now we're going to the Utah, you know, <laughs> slogan, right? Yeah. For the state of Utah, but it is true. V Vivia, I mean, that's a great name to say. 2025, let's be as healthy as we can. Okay, so here's what, what we yeah, know. Tell, tell we, us what we know. We are not big enough influencers to be able to receive the Vivia in advance of its launch. So we're sad about that. Resound, However, if you're listening, next time, go ahead and send us a few early. Don't sleep on us. And then we can get it out in advance of the launch because this launch, we're actually receiving the devices tomorrow. Yeah. But we've learned a little bit about it. We've talked to people about it. We are excited about it. So even though we don't have it in our hands, we know a little bit. So one thing that I'm excited about is we have this new theme in hearing devices where they have not one chip, mm but two chips. So mm. it's a dual chip system. Now, a prior company launched a dual chip system, and by doing so, we all thought that it made sense that the hearing device became larger because we thought physically to house two chips, it would need more energy, it would need you know better battery, and it would need more space to house the two chips. But what's going on with the Vivia? Well, you know, and we don't need to dance around at the Phonak Infineo Sphere was a really cool dual chip product that we've really liked and had a lot of success with, but oh yeah, it was a big guy. And again, we thought that was just, had to be that way. It That's had right. two chips, Customary took a ton of usual. battery power. Yep. Here's what we're learning about the Vivia. Although it has two chips, it is very small. In fact, Resound has had one of the very smallest rechargeable hearing aids for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And they are promising the smallest dual chip rechargeable hearing aid. Yeah, and in fact, they said that it's no bigger or larger than the predecessor or the hearing device that they've that we've been using, which is the uh, you know, the Resound Nexia, which has been a fantastic device, but this new product will be the size of the the Nexia, which is a mini device, but it has the dual chip. So wow. I'm I'm way excited about that. Our minds were blown. We were excited about a dual chip product that's also really, really small. Yeah. These dual chips are exciting because what they talk about is artificial intelligence. Big buzzword, of course, mm -hmm. just in, in, in media, out in, in pop culture. But artificial intelligence and hearing aids, it has some really cool promise. Mm -hmm. The idea between this deep neural network and artificial intelligence is that the hearing aid is smart enough to be able to isolate individual sounds. Say you're in a noisy place. Okay. Say you're out to lunch with your family. Love it. And all of a sudden you've got cash registers dinging, you've got people talking, you've got traffic going Silverware. by. Silverware. Silverware clanking on the plates. Guy Maybe there's coughing. music playing. Yeah. Oh, guy coughing. Why is that oh. dog barking? Why, why is that dog why even in the restaurant? The, why'd they bring the dog? That's what I was thinking. But yeah. as all these sounds are going on, the hearing aid is able to, to isolate each of them mm -hmm. and subtract them from the signal so that all you hear as the hearing aid wearer is the conversation there That's at your right. table. Now, this might sound too good to be true. Maybe it is. Yeah. We haven't tested the Vivia yet. No. But and, these, and you know, with hmm. this really special technology that Dr. Whitaker was was explaining and expressing and, and kind of teaching us what it does, it's really cool because hearing devices in the past have had the ability to reduce noise and keep speech at a separated level. And usually that's about a four, sometimes even up to as high as a six decibel difference between products, or I'm sorry, between noise and speech. But these deep neural network products that are using AI and, and they're using these dual chips and these new technologies like beamforming and things like that, and they're using all of this all at once. The simultaneous effect of this can be quite impressive. For example, the Phonak device was boasting well above 10 decibels of a 
signal to noise uh, difference. And between, that's huge, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, that's that's almost crazy talk. But yeah. yeah. So if a product is is achieving well over eight, over ten, maybe pushing twelve, and, and, and upward like that, it really shows you that if a product can do that then the speech really will be quite distinct and quite easy to discern above the noise floor. And so you can really get above the noise with these dual chip systems. And yeah. this is what they're boasting. <laughs> yeah, Again, we, we're excited to try it out. We're just excited right now. You know, it, it is interesting from ReSound. That some of these hearing aid companies have been in on these deep neural networks for a little while now, how they process mm -hmm. sound. Other companies have different strategies for background noise. You mentioned beam forming technology, mm -hmm. which is really a cool technology that allows a hearing aid to have a beam of amplification so that when you're in a noisy place, where as long as you're looking at what you want to hear, right. the hearing aid's going to pick it up in that narrow beam and not amplify all of the sound around you. I'm curious to see if Resound is going to incorporate both of these. They've done really great with beam formers in the past. Mm -hmm. They're jumping in on this dual chip AI stuff. Is it going to be a combination? Are they going all in on one or the other? I don't know. I know. It'd it's exciting. You know, another thing that we noticed just looking at it and, and reading about some of the description about the product is on the top where Resound chooses to place the microphones right on top. They want it as sensitive as possible. But part of that design um, in the past, if we're being honest, can lend itself to being right in the line of fire, hmm. whether it's moisture or dirt, dust, whatever. And so when those microphones become occluded or compromised, or they just become a little soiled with just the ambient, you know, experience that you're going through, they can kind of reduce in their sensitivity. They can become less effective. And so it's kind of cool when we look at the new product, the Vivia, it actually has little spots where you can actually change the filter on the fly. In fact, they're saying that patients can even do it. It's that easy. And this is a big deal. So that's a big deal. You know, the microphones get clogged. They're exposed to sweat. They're exposed yeah. to dust. They're exposed to stuff. And because so there's a little filter. Your hearing device only works as, as well as the microphones will allow it. If yeah. you can't pick up the sound, how do you expect to hear better? Exactly. When that microphone port gets clogged, sound doesn't even get in, the hearing aids don't work. And this is a common thing we've seen with hearing aids for many, many years. And often this was something we could fix in-house, mm -hmm. but it often entailed taking the whole shell off of the hearing aid. This is yeah. not something a patient could do at home. You had to bring it to mm -hmm. us and we could change the little microphone ports underneath the shell. This new Vivia is promising a very simple, very easy microphone filter change that even a patient can do at home, saves the patient time. They don't have to come into us. It increases the, the sensitivity to sound and it allows the patient to be in the driver's seat and to do that whenever they need to for those weddings, those, those big events, you know, those really awesome Christmas things. and. and just all those experiences that they want to be extra sensitive. They want to make sure that they're really in tune, really connecting. I, I think it's one step it's a closer great feature. Yeah, to allowing them to do better. So I love that feature. I love it too. Now, some of you might be thinking, I don't want to change it on my own. We'll still change it for you. Good if, point. if you're someone that says, you know what? I don't want to learn how to do more things on my own. We're happy to still do this for you. But for those of you that say, boy, I'd love to do it on my own. Save myself a trip to the office. This might be a really cool feature for right. you. So, by and large and overall, the the feeling that we have about the Vivia is so exciting. Now it's not Christmas. I mentioned Christmas, but feels a little like it. it. it feels mean, a little like Christmas Eve. I know. Tomorrow. I, are are you sleeping products. at the clinic tonight? I might be. I mean, I know. I mean, we've been known I'm, to do that. I know. I'm <laughs> way excited to see what it sounds like. Um, we had a insider who wears hearing aids, and they were able to kind of give a testimonial about the Vivia, and they said. You know, I, I've been with other manufacturers. I've listened to lots of different hearing aids in my lifetime. This is an individual that, you know, has hearing loss and has had hearing loss since she was younger. And she tried the Vivian and her testimonial that I just read was, I've never heard a hearing device that sounds like this, this Vivia. There's nothing I've ever listened to that even competes or compares with it. She was completely, just overwhelmed with how excited she was for this product. So listening to someone who's worn some major manufacturers and she's really into hearing devices and for her to give the testimonial that 
This hearing aid sounds very different than anything Resound's ever had, and that this hearing device is by far her favorite. Well, again, it's one person, but it got me excited. Hey, no kidding. Yeah. So we're going to be doing some research with this product. As soon as we get it in our hands, we're going to be trying it. We're going to be trying it on patients. We're going to wear it ourselves. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. We will be back. We are going to do some more videos on the Vivia to let you know what we think. Yeah, and the good news is, is that we should have the device ready to order and let people do lots of research with this device. I mean, this is going to be a fun march, but we get to have it for a couple couple weeks before we jump into our big research with it. But it's an exciting time, so look forward to the Vivia. Viva los Vivia! Okay, everybody, we so appreciate you watching the video today. If you've liked what you've seen, please like it, subscribe to our channel. It means the world to us, but it also means the world to other people who are trying to figure out what's going on with their hearing health. So thank you for watching.